I got a bunch of hardware I got for uh, a filter for this hand pump that I made. I'm going to look at that, see if I can put it together, see how well it works. Because that water is rusty. Okay, here's what I got to start my filter project with. Oop, oh, hold on. This is an adapter from three quarter inch, this side's three quarter, to one inch. So this is a one inch opening and fits smoothly in there and then this three quarter, three quarter inch hose barb fitting screws into that. This is nylon. And then you uh, it's a barb, so you take your, I think it's vinyl, tubing and press it over there. And then from there I'll go into the filter and then come out of the filter into whatever you're dumping into. Right, right kitty? Okay. And that, this will just be, oh, this is going to be a mobile unit, so I'll carry it with me and I'll just come out and plug it in like that. No glue or anything. <laughs> and then when I'm done, just drain it all and either put it in the garage or put it in the house, whatever. But it's going to be cold and I don't want it to freeze. Here's the uh, whole house filter. This one's a whirlpool. The trouble with this setup is it's going to be you'd be forcing water through a filter that's going to pressurize it and I don't know if the pump's going to be able to like that without a seal on the top but anyway we will press on I've got this kitty litter bucket here that I'm going to probably I haven't done anything yet slice slice a hole out drop that down in and probably have it in there almost permanently but not really and uh, I'll have this clear hose pressed over the barb on each side and I'm gonna have it so that I don't I'm never going to want to pull that off of there or unspin this because it's just gonna be a pain in the butt so they'll be on there and what I'll do is just coil it around this bucket when I'm done pumping the water through it. Oh, and this is three quarter inch inside diameter braided vinyl. I think that's 10 feet. Okay, so I, punched a, I pumped a bunch of water and I guess that's what the color is normally if you don't filter it. That's comparison so I'm gonna empty that out and run it through this filter thing that I set up. All I did was uh, four inch hole saw a nice hole right here in this corner. It's offset so that this uh, can coil around better. If I put it in the middle then it's gonna be poking way out. It's about four feet on the inside and six feet of hose on the outside, on the outlet. Well, let's see if it works without without this thing squirting too much on me. Okay, so I got this plugged in, and it curls around to the inlet, curls back around to the outlet in the bucket. That's how they're all sitting. Definitely get a lot of squirting out of this one. 
So you're losing something on that one. On this side, but it is going through. And it's definitely a lot harder to pump. Okay, that looks a little tastier. It has got a kind of a golden hue to it. <laughs> but I would drink that. That'd be alright. So you can see all this is still full. Full and clear. That leaked pretty good. Now, if I was pumping this from ways down, I'm only 30 feet down, so it's not taking me too, it's not too hard. But that would be a lot of work to force it through this pump, uh, force through that filter, plus lift it. <clears throat> so, I don't know. If you had a deeper well and dirty water you might want to consider filtering it filtering it after the fact but this works for me i'll just come out here in the winter time plunk that down and get what i need and then carry it back in assuming there's no power all right so i would drink that i'll zoom in you can see there's a little bit of a tint to it it's not too bad though this filter, I don't know if, I'm not sure if this is the best one to use. Okay, here's the filter I put in there. And it's five microns. So right there, five right, micron nominal. Okay, I decided that's the finished product. I just uh, tucked the hoses it through the handle and bungeed them. And that's it. This is just loose in there. You can lift it up, carry it away. I don't know if you want to cap the ends off or whatever. I don't know. I just don't know about those things. So that's the filter. And uh, as far as there's other ways to do it, like you could put, they make filters that you can put down the well but once the shit hits the fan I'm not going to want to pull this up and down out of the well you know pull the pump up and down just to change the filter so I'd rather do it this way myself you do it any way you want but they do make long filter elements that go right on the end of your uh, foot valve right on the end of the, of the pump way down in the well. If you care to try that, I don't. So even after I filtered that, uh, I drank it and it's fine, but you can, you can tell that it's it needs a little more filtering. So if you had uh, one of those Berkey drip filters or whatever, just for your drinking, that would be great. I would I know from experience that uh, if you if you put your water in a jug and then just let it set for a while, especially if you let it set out in the cold, it'll be perfectly good and yummy. Okay, voila.